Squad team, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, as you well know on this channel, I often do reviews of certain smartphones, and today I'm bringing you a video of some news that there may be potentially the first ever fully bezel-less display. So no forehead, no chin, no sides for the very first time ever with one of the highest screen to body ratios there ever has been and potentially there ever will be because we've got some leap designs and we're gonna get straight to that right now. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell if you're new and want to be notified every time I post a new video. Right, so like I said, welcome back to a brand new video. Right, so a couple of days ago, I did a review on the Doji Mix 2. I'll leave that linked here if you are interested. It is one of the best budget phones that are around at the moment for many different reasons, but we have some leaked designs from the same company, the same manufacturers, Doji, that they're in the process potentially of building in 2018, this year, a brand new smartphone which has no bezels anywhere to be seen. It doesn't even have a notch for the camera because of a certain style of technology that they're going to be using potentially. And we're gonna look straight at the leaked design and I'm gonna be talking you through how I think that they are going to actually get this to work. So let's delve straight into the information that you need. Right, so here we are on Twitter, believe it or not, and we are on the Doogee official Twitter account. And as you can see here, we have a tweet from them on the 12th of December, which was actually indeed my birthday. So Doogee, if you're watching and you want me to actually review this phone, if it comes out, it'd be a nice birthday present. Belated, sure, but it would still be nice. All right, so we have here, technology has developed rapidly. Slide screen smartphone is a brand new one. What Doogee takes is a brand new one. What Doogee, what do? I think it's meant to say that dude you take the lead on, but nevertheless, we can look past that. Would you like to share us your own concept of the phone in the next generation? And that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today. I'll click on the video in a second, but as you can see, the actual image that they've used here looks very much like the iPhone X. Obviously, without the notch. A lot of you guys hate the notch. You could have a similar sort of thing without the notch here. Now, my first point about this actual image and the advertising images that they will probably use if they do indeed make this phone is they tend to be slightly favorable on the screen to body ratio. What I mean by that is the Doji Mix, for example, the actual images they put out on their social medias or whatever in order to advertise that phone before its release were very, um, bezel-less heavy. So you couldn't see anything. When in reality, when I did a review on that phone, there were still bezels. They were small bezels, but it, nevertheless. Uh, what I'd like to see from them, again, is to be honest. If you are gonna do a marketing campaign and you're gonna use pictures, make sure you use actual pictures of the phone. That would be far better. And then people aren't disappointed when it actually arrives. So let's click on the video. And as you can see here, this is the first thing. So it's all, all the actual video here is showing, the little GIF or GIF, however you say it. How do you say it? Let me know below. As you can see, the actual way they're able to not have a notch, they are able to not have a bezel and still have a working camera is to use a sliding technology. Now that would mean in so many senses that you have a phone similar to the ZTE Accent M where we had the flip out phone. So we had, it was two together and it flipped out and therefore was slightly thicker than a normal phone. It's gonna be, instead of flipping out, it's gonna be flipping up. But as a result, again, it's going to be slightly thicker than a normal average phone. So there's your first potential problem that you guys might not like. It is gonna be thicker. Now, do you think having a slightly thicker phone but no bezels and no notches would be a benefit? Again, let me know below. I personally love the idea of the Infinity Display. I think I could get used to having it slightly thicker as long as it's not too thick. And I don't think you'd need it to be that thick uh, because as we know, technology's developed so much that now we've seen cameras go from a massive hump on the back of phones to basically completely flat against the surface of the back of the phone. So I think they can do it, but it'd be interesting to see again with the first generation, there are often flaws, there are often you know issues that they kind of iron out for a second generation. But also what I like about this, as you can see, you've got a sensor as it flips up, it says here sensor, receiver and camera. So you've got your sensors, receiver and your camera all in that second half of the phone that slides up. And again, as a result, you don't need your sensors, you don't need your receivers to be in the display problems that the Xiaomi Mi Mix had when it was developed. It used the technology behind the display. People often found there were issues with sound and stuff like that. They could go down that route and obviously develop it further. 
or they could use this flip style so that they wouldn't need to have problems and you could just focus on having a fantastic display and no problems with the other technology because you are using a separate part of the phone. And of course, having the camera in a separate compartment as well, it would mean that you could also take advantage of not having to tell the phone which camera you want to use. So if you have your phone flat and you press the camera app, it can load up with the rear camera, which again will be in the back compartment anyway. It'll know straight away that you want to use that rear camera because the phone is closed. As soon as you slide that function open, whether that's a button which shoots it up or whether it's a slide mechanism that you have to actually flick using your hands, I don't know. But again, if you open it and then click the camera app, it can instantly know that you are using the front-facing selfie camera, which I think, again, would be a very, very positive thing. In fact, potentially, you wouldn't even need to go on the camera app in order for the front shooter to work. If you slide it up, it could automatically, like Bixby button on the on the Samsung phone, you press that and it comes up. The same, you can double tap on the OnePlus 5 and it opens up the camera. You could slide that and it would open up the front-facing shooter, and that would be absolutely great. So we are also going to look at a YouTube video of the Doogee uh, sort of concept phone here that they have actually released. And as you can see here, there's the two sections there. You can see the line in the middle. Let's just rewind that. So there you have it, the two lines in the middle, and that would obviously be the bit that slides. And just before that, you have the dual camera on the back, you have the LED light, and you have your fingerprint sensor there, all in pretty nice locations. The fingerprint sensor being slightly lower down, I don't think we'd have too many problems because on a tall phone, the lower down the fingerprint sensor is on the back, probably the easier it is, especially for people who have smaller hands. For you giant-handed people out there, I don't think this would be a negative either. I think you can get around having it slightly lower down. I also like the white concept because I think that my main criticism of a lot of Doogee phones in the past is the actual design, colouring, um, glossiness. I think I mentioned in my Doogee Mix 2, I didn't like the fact that it was a very metallic, shiny colour. I prefer matte products. Now, this is shiny, but shiny white is a very, very different concept to shiny ocean blue. It's just a personal preference. Again, a lot of you guys in the comments said you like that colour. I personally don't. I like matte products, or if you're going to go with a glossy colour, white is a nice colour to use. It's still very clean, still looks very minimalistic. So again, they've got the Doogee logo on the bottom there, which actually looks pretty clean again in the white here. And there you have it. There is the actual full front concept design from Doogee. And if that was your phone, let me know in the comment section below, would you be happy with that screen? Because that to me, as long as it's a at least a full HD 1080p, which it will be because the Mix 2 was. There's no way they go back to a 720p screen. If it was AMOLED, again, better. Then you get the truer, deeper blacks, for example, and better viewing angles over the IPS panel, which again, we saw on the Mix 2, which had a good display. But again, AMOLED is a better technology, in my opinion, than IPS. And as you can see there, we have the actual flip mechanism coming up from behind the actual phone. Let me know what you think about that actual way that they are going to do this with that little flip up there. As you can see, a close-up of that sliding mechanism there. What I also think they could do with this slide mechanism, you, I think you could actually slide it both ways as well. And you can actually open something else. If you slide it up, you've got the front-facing camera. If you slide it down, you might have an extra speaker. I don't know, because that would be pretty handy to create a dual speaker aspect so if you're viewing certain bits of media and you want that extra front facing speaker boost you can obviously slide that the other way and that would then pop out i think personally that would be a really really handy tool whether they have two slide outs is it is again another thing you could potentially have the screen as normal and then you can have a little line in the back which means that the two back panels can slide out and then you've got a little indent there but you've got a a screen here a fully bezel a screen and then two little speaker sections come out you've got your earpiece from the top next to the camera and you've got a secondary bottom speaker and then you've got dual front facing speakers which again a lot of people rave about with sound quality these days especially with things like the razor phone two front facing speakers would be a brilliant thing and that's pretty much it that is the concept commercial that they have actually put on youtube go and check it out i will leave it linked below if you are interested in seeing that full it's not much more than that it's about 45 seconds but again definitely worth looking at if you are interested in this phone. Right, so that's pretty much it guys let me know in the comment section below whether you think that this is a design that is actually going to work this year whether it's a bit too early whether potentially that they might be just sending a little teaser out to 
big the brand up and actually not deliver. If they were to do that, I think it would be a massive mistake because they are a fairly new company. If you lose trust in the consumers that early, it could be catastrophic. So I think they do need to deliver now, even if it's a first one that is flawed in certain ways and then they can then obviously go on and improve it based on customer feedback. If they do go ahead and actually make this product, of course, I would love to be one of the first to review it. So Doogee, if you are watching, then hit me up and I will gladly look through it and give you my personal opinion on it. And you guys can obviously let them know in the comment section below as well on that review so that they can improve for a second generation of the phone. As always, guys, if you did enjoy this video and like this sort of content, hit that, hit that information. That's, that's not right. Hit the like button, that's better. Share it with your friends and family if they're interested in smartphones, cheap budget smartphones that are looking to innovate all the time with new technologies, etc. Subscribe and hit that little notification bell if you are new to the channel and want everything tech, whether it's smartphones, Android boxes, media streaming, app reviews, tutorials, software, hardware, all of that sort of goodness. That is what we do right here pretty much every day. So definitely turn on your notifications and then when I post, you will get them straight away. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. It's SBOT. Peace out.